it's a 93 Freightliner. It's all custom built, pretty much. It's all done by Micmac Fabrication, did all the bunk. Uh, all the stainless was done by various stainless shops. Some could do the stuff and some couldn't because of the complexity of it. And uh, a lot of stuff was bought from Chrome Shop Mafia. And the rest of the, everything else was all custom built. That's the way it was. There used to be a tri-drive and was shortened up to be back to a tandem. So they used all off-road. And she's got about 8 million kilometers on it. It's the eighth engine in it now. It's an old four and a quarter mechanical. A C block. She can't kill her. And I'll still be around. I'll have her till I'm gone. The interior is all leather. It's all pleated diamond tuck. Uh, it's all three quarter inch hardwood floors. Uh, like I said, it's all insulated with two inch insulation for soundproofing and for heat. It's got all the bunk heaters. Uh, it's got all the power. It's self power. It's got shore power. It has running water. It's, it's, you can live in it. You know what I mean? And that's what we did. We built it for myself. Some people don't like it. And the ones who don't, too bad. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. The lights, I couldn't help you out with that because I don't even know what's on it myself. All I can tell you is that nighttime she will glow. Those are eight inch stacks on there. Okay. They, they do have mufflers in them because when I was 20 some years old, I used to run straight pipes. That's why I'm having a hard time hearing now. So now I got mufflers in them, but they still bark along pretty good. We call it a moose bumper. That was specially built. That's because with the flames that were cut out, especially for that truck, it was all customized right there. There's not another bumper in Canada like it because it was built for that truck to match the truck. By, and the guy did that because he knew the truck, he seen the truck, and he did this on without even the company knowing it. So once the company seen it, they liked it, you know? But it's, it's, it's guys like that you run into that actually makes a difference, you know, when you're building a truck. Uh, the Skyline, is, it's, uh, I've had that on this truck ever since I've owned it. This truck before was painted once before. It was had all the truck going up through the mountains with the moose in the mountains and all that stuff. And then when I repainted it, it's been uh, probably eight years now since she's been redone again. And uh, we changed it back because that polar bears used to be on my big one ton I used to have. And uh, the polar bears have always been on my equipment. It's for, it's for pulling for the north, that's, uh, that's what it is. And that's why you have the polar bears and the sled. It's actually pulling for the north, but I didn't want to put the writing on it. Because half of them can't read it anyway, so it's a different. Right? I said this truck used to be a tritum drive and I used to pull off-road and we used to have 70 metric ton on just payload so you're pushing 200 and some with the trailer everything you're pushing 200 and some thousand pounds and that was seven days a week 24 hours a day so she's had a hard life you know what I mean she's she's worked for her honors now she's she's relaxing now she's like me she's getting old I all mostly uh, do military a lot of equipment I do step deck work I do a lot of ice roads in the wintertime. Like you might have seen some of the shows, you know, the ice road truckers and all that. But where we go, the camera lens would fall out of the camera. So those are real ice roads. And we do them pretty well every winter for the native people. Oh, you're into 55, 60 below up north where we go. Like that's like all the truck is all two inch insulation. It's all, all the floors are insulated. It's, it's all done for that stuff. It's, it's made to work, you know. But I like the truck because she's an old girl. She's always been good. So I've always taken care of her, and that's why I dress it up, and people think it's just a highway tractor, but she does a lot of off-road work. She takes a beating. She's not a show and shine. She's a work truck. The States is set up for trucks. The, the regulations are different, like for wheelbases, uh, you know what I mean? They have same headaches pretty well we have with MTO and what have you. Uh, their hours are a little shorter, but at least they're, it's set up for trucks. When you can pull into a truck stop where you have a thousand trucks sitting there, they know it's, the industry is for trucks. And up north here, up Canada now, there, there's no more. And it's getting less and less as time goes on. And that's, it's sad because, you know, 
but because of the cost of everything, so people are more, you know, the trucks are becoming more and more equipped. With, you know, you cook yourselves and you can carry all your own food, and that's what they're doing. So, how do you expect, you know, truck stops to survive? So all you, all they do now is they just put fuel stations in the middle of the field, and you're on your own. I pulled mountains all my life. Most guys, uh, like if I run BC, I run all over this country. And if you ever run North Shore, or Quebec City, you've got 27% grades. BC ain't got nothing that'll, if they go over there, they'll scare themselves. If you come around a corner in high gear and you'll drop down 10 gears and you haven't curved the corner, that's a hill. And that's when you top it, you go down the other side, there's a town on the bottom with a set of lights. So you, you gotta, I've been around the country, so you know what I mean? It, it's, we used to heavy haul, because what we used to haul with three and three, right today you, you need 12 axles to haul them. That's the way the laws have changed. We used to get a $10 permit, they jacked it up to 25, and now now you're buying a $300,000 trailer just to haul the same weight, the trailer weighs more than what you're hauling, so what good is it? You know? But that's the way the things are changing. And I've been doing this for 35 years, and I actually got into it because my dad had trucks, and my older brother, he's still trucking, he's, uh, well, he's antique now because he's way up there, and he's still at it because it's in our blood. And just we won't stop. It's you know what I mean. I like to quit. I've been quitting now for the last ten years. So we'll try five more. And we'll see where that goes from there.